Hi there, and welcome to this video where I will present my latest application that I created with Spring Boot. It is a library management application where users can log in to search the catalog of the library for certain books. They can make reservations or they can see when they need to return the books that they have currently in use. The employees of the library can also log into this application, but they have different options available for them. They can search for users, change information, add or delete books to the catalog, and they can handle orders and reservations. The dependencies that I used for this application are Spring MVZ, H2 database, because it's still in development mode. I used Spring Security, JDBC API for the authentication, JPA, and Timeleaf. Now let's head over to the actual application where I'm going to create a new account so that we can log in. All right, the account is created, so now we can go back and log in. So we now enter the user environment where users can look for their own books. They can search for books in the library catalog. They can view their own reservations. And there is some information here which shows how the library works. So I'm going to go through this really quick. Books can be borrowed for 21 days. Uh, this period can be extended by a maximum of three weeks by one week at a time. Extending this period is free of charge and can only be done if nobody else made a reservation for the particular book. Books can also be reserved. A reservation is valid for seven days and costs one dollar per book. If the book is not picked up after seven days, the reservation will automatically be cancelled. If a book isn't returned to the library on time, a fine of 20 cents will be charged per book per day. The system will block you from making any new reservations or picking up any new books if you have a book in your possession that should have been returned to the library. Now let's assume that I want to make uh, a reservation uh, because I want to have some books about coding and I want to be sure that the library has put them aside for me. So now we are going to search for the books that we want. Let's search for a book with the word code in it because we want to learn more about coding. So clean code sounds interesting and I also want to be a software developer so coders at work would be very interesting as well. Then I click reserve books, I have to pay and we go straight away to my reservations where I can see that I reserved these two books from the 13th of May until the 20th of May. So what I would like to do now is log out and go to an account of an employee of the library. So there are many more options available on an employee account, but I want to go especially now to the process, process reservations tab. We can see that the books that I reserved are uh, listed here as unprocessed reservations. And I can select these books and set the status of these books to ready for pickup. Now, if I go back to the user account, I will see that uh, two notifications appeared and that the books that I reserved are ready for pickup. Now imagine that I see these notifications and that I am going to the library to really pick up the books. Well, I would appear at the desk of the employee and I would ask for my order. The employee would go to the place order tab. And fill in my name to search for me. I think in real life this would be done by scanning a barcode on a user card or something but since this is only for learning purposes I made this search field. Now the employee can select my name 
and now the employee has to search for the books that I reserved. They appear here and as you can see they are reserved. So I can select them. Now the employee can confirm the order. And now the books can be taken home by me. So if I go back to my own account again, to the user account, I can see that I have two books in my possession, which are listed here. Now, if I knew already that I wanted to use these books for a longer time, I could extend the return date. And like I said earlier, there's a maximum of three weeks to do this. So I can do this three times and then I will get a notification that the return date cannot be extended anymore. So there's one more thing that I would like to show uh, and that is when a user has a fine. So if we go to an account where a user has a book in its possession that should have been returned, we are seeing the following notification. It will get a warning. So as you can see, this user has one book with no fine and one book with a fine. And now if this user wants to make a reservation for a certain book, we can see that this option is blocked. So what this user could do is he can go to his own books and he can extend the return date if that is still possible. So he can extend it by clicking this button. And now we can see that he has to pay the fine and that the book uh, has to be extended by two weeks. Now he doesn't have a fine anymore and now if he is going back to the catalog and searches for the book he is able to make a reservation again now if we go back to the home page we can see that the warning notification is gone i think that the functionality of this application is pretty clear right now but before i want to finish this video off i want to show some more functionalities of the employee so for example we could go to the users tab and we can search for user information so we can see the information here but we can also select a specific user and we can see what books they have currently in use or what reservations they have i could also go to the catalog i can add a new book here but let's not do that for now i can uh, show books and show their information for example the return date there are two books in use right now so i only have two return dates i can change the information like the title or the author and i can remove the current user for example if something went wrong with an order or something and then it's also possible to delete a book so let's for example delete code complete i can delete a book from the catalog and then it won't be visible again so if i search for code it is not visible anymore it's removed from the database now what should the employee do when a user returns some books well it can go to the return books tab it needs to search for the user and then it can see which books this user has currently in use. It can select the books. No fine has to be paid. We can return the books and now they are not in the possession of this user anymore. So now if we log in to the account of this user, we can see that the books are removed from his account. There are no books listed here. Now, there's only one final thing that I would like to show, which is the admin account. If we log into the admin account, 
we can manage all the accounts that are created in this application. So for example, if I search for the account that we created earlier, we can see its information over here, and then I can select it, and I see that this is a user account. Well, if I want this user to be an employee or an, an admin, I can change that here. But if the user, for example, is causing a lot of problems on this application, I can also disable this account. So let's do that for now. Then I save it. And now if I log out and I try to log in to the account that we created earlier, it will give an error and say that the username and password are incorrect because I disabled this account. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, if you are interested in the source code of this application, you can find it on my GitHub page. The link is posted below in the description. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you very much for watching.